in the 1980s, Bishop Constantino Luna brought the Apostolate of the Suffering from Italy to Guatemala and America, where he helped establish the National Shrine of the Apostolate at Mary Farm in Palmer. The local apostolate, a new recipient of the annual Catholic Appeal, helps people who suffer find hope in God. Recently, David Martin attended the monthly apostolate prayer meeting and learned how the apostolate will benefit from ACA funds. The Apostolate of the Suffering was first established in Italy in 1947 by Monsignor Luigi Navarisi, who wanted those suffering in hospitals to find a role in society and the church. Stacia Bronner, the vice president and treasurer of the local apostolate, explained when Italian Bishop Constantino Luna brought the Apostolate of the Suffering to the United States, he knew Janine and Dr. Ray Gagnon, and also silent worker of the cross, Brother Bob Litez. He started the message with them. So uh, Brother Bob um, worked with Bishop uh, Joseph McGuire uh, to uh, get the approval from the diocese, and he received it. And then uh, Dr. Gagnon and Janine Gagnon donated this property to the Apostolate of the Suffering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Bronner shared that some activities at Mary Farm include the annual retreat day in July. Prayer and liturgy are offered for redemptive suffering. Since we all suffer at one time or another, or some, to some degree or another, the purpose is to uh, tell the people that it doesn't have to be a negative thing because it, it can be totally positive if we offer it back to God and if we offer it with the intention of saving souls. Mary Farm also hosts a fun summer picnic. Bronner encourages people to visit Mary Farm to meditate in peace and reflect on their suffering. All are invited the first Saturday of each month to console the Immaculate Heart of Mary by reading devotions and offering discussions. We try to meditate in, in detail according to the book that was written by Sister Mary of Agreda the city, the, the mystical city of God. Stations of the Cross are prayed by the group, including Apostolate member Deborah Horn. I like to be among people who are like-minded and are also striving to get closer to Jesus and through Mary, because I have a special devotion to Mary. So I find this place to be um, especially enlightening for me and um, I feel like there's a special bond with the others that come here as well. Bronner is grateful for annual Catholic appeal funding that will help maintain buildings on the property. Newly named Mary Farm Administrator Dennis Hamill added that renovations are needed on the roof of the farmhouse that is leaking. They have created a GoFundMe page. Hamill said donations are few due to ailing membership as members grow older. They're all passing away, so I am one of the only ones left that's doing work here. We are in need of people that are willing to come and volunteer and donate time to Jesus through Mary. We need grounds maintenance volunteers. We need small repair volunteers. Numerous projects that we're trying to accomplish here to keep the dream alive of having this place be a retreat for handicapped people. Those who want to volunteer at Mary Farm can email them at maryfarm at comcast.net or call 413-283-4529. Bronner hopes with a branch now in Maine, the Apostle of the Suffering will expand throughout the United States, encouraging many to offer their suffering as penance for the salvation of others, as Christ did on the cross. For Real to Real, I'm David Martin. Dennis Hamill believes Mary Farm is truly holy ground, and anyone wishing to use it for events like parish picnics or retreats can contact Mary Farm. We have their contact information at iobserve.org. And as we said, this apostolate receives a grant from the annual Catholic Appeal. It's not too late to make your contribution to the 2023 campaign to support ministries like Mary's Farm or our Catholic Communications programming. You can find a link at diospringfield.org.
The 2023 campaign total now stands at just over $2.5 million raised with a goal of $3 million. So your donation will be greatly appreciated.